everyone. We got this idea, kind of in the middle of winter here. There's not really much to do. Man, do these guys want these treats? Um, but I want to have a cooking contest, a garden fork cooking contest. And I want you guys to make a garden fork cooking show. Make your own cooking video and we'll put them on garden fork and we'll have a contest and we'll have a couple of winners and we'll give away free stuff. Come to the greenhouse, look in the discussion forums. There'll be some information about the contest. It'll be called video contest. But really, it'd just be great to see people in their homes um, making videos and I'll post on the greenhouse some tips on how I make my videos and how you can make your own as well, all right? So, watch the show, but then come to the greenhouse and enter the contest. Thanks. Hey everyone, this is our little friend Moose, who is a big troublemaker. Um, our friend um, who has Midgey and Moose is gone to England, so we are babysitting for about five days. So it is complete chaos here. And Lynn is leaving to go back to New York, um, and I'm gonna stay up here with the dogs. So I really love pea good soup. Luck. Yeah, good luck. Oh, that's my hand. It's I like cool. this. I like this because it's simple. It's freezing outside, so it's a nice freezing weather dish. And it's, you know, it's that classic garden fork thing. All right? All right, you ready to, you wanna cook? Say yes. All right, get up. Go play. First thing, wash your hands. I get emails about this. Eric, do you wash your hands after playing with the dogs? And yes, I do, all right? What I like about this is we just put all this stuff in here, cook it. You can set it to cook overnight, which is what I'm gonna do, or you can set it to cook in the morning and come back. You come back home and it's, it's cooked, you know? The one thing you have to remember when you're using a crock pot is you're probably gonna need to add more water than you think you need, uh, which I discovered uh, the other day. You can, make, you can make a vegetarian version of this dish if you want. It could be uh, vegan, I think it's considered. But I like to have a little ham in the dish. And, and classic pea soup is made with a ham bone after you've had a ham for a holiday meal or something. But a lot of times you, you don't have that laying around. You could use um, like ham hocks if they sell them in a butcher near you. What I got the other day was uh, a piece of salt pork like this. Salt pork is usually pretty fatty, but I got one with some nice pieces of meat here in it, nice pieces of ham in it, and we'll cut this up, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna cut a majority of the fat off of here. A lot of salt pork is almost pure fat, so you're gonna have to look through the selection and pick one that has some meat on it, but I've cut a lot of the fat off of here. You know, you can pick, you can also just use sliced ham from the deli or a ham steak that they have at the butcher. So I'm just gonna cut this into cubes. But you know, peas are a legume and they're really healthy for you and a little bit of ham in there is just fine. So. Are they the same kind of peas we grow in the garden just dried out or are they different kind of peas? They're, no, they're a dried pea. Um, so it's a similar plant but a little different variety. There's also a fresh pea soup that we're gonna also do. The, the English have this where they, it's a lettuce and pea soup, and we're gonna make that as well. Now well, see, that sounds so. better to me. Well, I'll try and be better then, so. <laughs> okay, I wanna cut up some carrots here. I'm just gonna, I'm, I, don't, I don't peel my carrots, I just brush them with a brush. I don't, I think when you peel them, I think you take a lot of the nutritious stuff off of them, so. Just cut these into rounds. You also want the main ingredient, peas here. We're gonna take these and rinse them in a colander. This is a weird thing, when you wet peas, they become rock solid for some reason. They all stick together. Maybe some of our food scientists could tell us why that is. Okay, so we have our carrots um, and our ham. You could also have some onion if you like. If you want on the greenhouse, you can post, I'm gonna post this recipe, but you can also post um, your version of pea soup. I'd like to actually see that, that'd be cool. Um, that's what the site's all about, it's kind of like, Everyone talking about what they're doing. We're talking about pieces. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, but it's neat. It's it, like like today there were people. I wrote a little thing about um, different blogs that I get neat recipes from, 
And a bunch of other people replied to that, you know, the little reply thing at the bottom, and they listed some other cool blogs that they get recipes from. Now, we're gonna fill our crock pot with water. How much water? Um, you know, everyone's crock pot is a little different, so I'm gonna suggest that it be two inches above the level of the food. You making that up? No, I'm not, because the last time I did this, that's what I did and it came out great. Crock pot with the ingredients. It goes in here. The lid goes on. If you're gonna want this to cook fairly fast, like in four hours, I would say put it on high. If you're gonna go away, uh, go to work, which is the perfect thing for this, I would say to put it on low They're and really let it cook. Enough to do that? Oh yeah, that's the beauty of the crock pot is it's 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 a low heat, low power thing, and it just chugs away. Um, it's ceramic and glass and metal, so it's not gonna catch on fire, and it's great. We're gonna do some more crock pot stuff this winter, so that's well, it. We're done. No. We have to plug it in. I, sometimes I forget that part. <laughs> Does it um, need salt or anything? But wait, there's like no seasoning in this. I would season this afterward. Um, the salt pork has salt in it already. So I don't think you need to salt this at all. I usually just put a little cracked pepper in here. You can put a bay leaf in here if you like. Um, well, actually, I put a couple bay leaves in, but we don't have any. But on the greenhouse, you come to the recipe, it'll say bay leaf on it. You know, tell me what your recipe is. We'll have a posting about this, and, and you can add on to the post and tell us what you think. All right, so here we are, it's the next day. Um, Lynn has gone back to the city. The pups are asleep on the couch, thankfully. Um, it is like 12 degrees outside, the wind is blowing. Um, but we have some really good uh, pea soup here. This is, um, I can't really tilt it, but you can kind of see it there. So let's do our taste test here. And this is great, it needs a little pepper, but other than that, so there you go. Simple food, easy to make. You could start this before you go to work, set it on low, let it cook, come back, it's done. All right, that's enough. I talk too much. Thank you. Make it a great day. Stay warm.